Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 19, Thoughts. This episode is called Option 2, another episode I love. Spoils for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for the thing that came out after this episode first premiered. The episode is rated TV-14, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So yeah, um, they discuss whether or not Elena made the right decision, and I do really appreciate, like, you know, basically everyone has something to, to say about this, you know, and, like, this could easily have been a scene where Elena is basically, like, hung out to dry by other characters, but, like, Fitzsimmons back her up and, and talk about, you know, something along the lines of, like, if we hadn't done this, uh, you know, we would have, yeah, you know, it would have been a failure. Let's see, and um, yeah, um, very chilling when you know Talbot, you know, talks to to Coulson and says, you know, and and basically admits, you know, I must have given them our location, which just holy crap. And I love the movie phone, like, the you know, if you are dealing with a natural disaster, press 1. How was I supposed to know that it was an alien invasion option? <laughs> you always listen to the end of the menu. Let's see, and... <laughs> I like Elena's, you know... We're gonna be in here. You really think you can avoid me for 15 years? And yeah, just some really great moments between Mac and Elena. You know, talking about if that if it was going too far, and you know, May, you know, killing the girl in Bahrain is brought up. You know. And and I do also really appreciate, you know, when Elena and, and May talk. You know, May says, it changes not just you, but how other people see you. And, yeah, and, and they're still hoping to to save Coulson's life. And, see. I appreciate Elena apologizing for keeping this information from him. You know, breach of trust, after all. And, and yeah, this thing of, you know, they can go where they want to, you know, doors and and walls don't actually slow them down because of the, the teleportation device. Yeah, got a real slasher feel from, you know, so the a lot of the time, I already forgot what they were called, but to, uh, Raiders? Rav it wasn't Ravagers, because that's a different thing in the MCU. Um, marauders, I think. The marauders, you know, are, you know, a lot of the time you can't see them. They know where you are. They can go wherever the, you know, they, in order to, to take someone out. They come with their own automatic, like, you know, incredibly effective weapon. Also got a bit of a, a predator vibe, which, you know, there's some slasher elements to Predator movies. Let's see. And yeah, um, they talk to Deke. It's like, well, you know, how did you stop them in the future? We didn't. We just gave them what they wanted and thanked them and then cleaned up the bodies. And <laughs> yeah, um, as usual, the Candyman can. And he explains that the, you know, Robin gave him a drawing of, you know, yeah, um, Daisy recognizes it's, that's Sinara, you know, and so do we, the audience. Uh, not a big fan of the, you know, there's the thing about, you know, she was juggling someone's balls. Pretty sure those were her own balls. Like, eh, it's kind of transphobic. You know, a, a masculine woman must secretly be a man kind of joke. Yeah. 
let's see, and yeah, you know the the you know the the one final ingredient that worked for the the uh, Garrett for John Garrett. You know, it's 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 this. It's on this piece of paper. I, you know, haven't been able to find this place anywhere. And you know, Daisy's like, it's not a place. It's a people. I mean, it sort of is. It's a person. And let's see. Yeah. Um, Elena and Talbot together are quite good. It's, you know. He's trying to make his case, and then he says, "I'm, I'll comply." Oh, that was a bad choice of. I'll cooperate. That's what I mean. And see, yeah, and and Fitz and Deke see that the Marauders destroyed the way out. And yeah, very cool that they have like EMP powers, so they have to go. Really old school. 70s camping equipment, really? And Talbot. Simmons turns her back on him for just a little too long. You know, he ices her and gets into the machine. And I really do appreciate because, like, when Ruby got in the machine and it was fired up, like, we were like, Oh no, she's gonna, you know, it's gonna get to 100%, and then, you know, it stopped at 8%, you know, and now it went to 100% for Talbot. And let's see, he does seem a lot more stable than Ruby was after 8%, even though he's at 100. I don't know if that. I mean, maybe, like more years of it because they've both had training but maybe maybe more years of experience maybe a more well adjusted you know he does love his family in a non-toxic way so maybe that's it I really hope the show isn't like doing a thing of oh you know men can handle things that women can't because that's I maintain if if we cis men were the ones you know carrying babies for eight months and then having to you know actually give birth the species would severely diminish I'm, I'm not saying there would be zero but the percentage would be extremely low of men who would actually be able to go through with that and I count my I'm, I'm not saying that I would either let's see the um, then we have the Deke Whatever happens, never call me Gramps again. Let's see. You're, maybe you're a canary in a coal mine. I don't know what either of those things are. And, yeah, once the, the, the marauders are on, you know, all the different, you know, there's like three different doors that they're, you know, pounding on really got like a xenomorph zombie movie vibe love it and yeah Talbot just like makes minced meat out of them he just destroys them with his powers and yeah we the post credit scene is Daisy digging up Jai Ying Let's see and um, right, so I'm to be trivia for this episode. At 554, the Gravitonium is a new, in a pneumatic tube capsule. Most everyone has used one at a bank drive through After Glenn Talbot gains the power to control gravity, a case of Gravitonium is seen with some of the letters obscured, causing it to read Graviton, suggesting that Talbot has become the villain Graviton. Very cool. Let's see... And I um, think that might be about right. I like that when Phil tells you know he tells them it's going to be fifteen years, but he claims that it's 
was it a malfunction or something like that? I mean, he won't admit that it was his mistake. We have years of food, water, and air. Is that true? Not good food. Let's see. And I think that might. Yeah, technical malfunction is what he claims. We may be trapped inside for 15 years ish. And. That. Do you think Deke's right? Let me be clear Deke is never right. What happened to your multiverse? Thought you were everyone everywhere all at once. And uh, let's see, I think that might be all that. Yeah. I should be able to do an episode tomorrow. Really, really excited. It's coming to a close. There's what, three more episodes? 2021, 20, 20, 20, three more episodes, yeah. Yeah, really, really excited to see the conclusion. Citizens of the Lighthouse, I bring you excellent news. The outer atmosphere shows no signs of contamination. Congratulations, you have survived the nuclear apocalypse. The planet is safe again.